Hey, what's up? Good evening to all you bold and beautiful fans on YouTube. I'm Justin Fleming. And I'm here today to give you my review on today's bold and beautiful Tuesday, August 28th, 29th, 2017. Now, today's bold and beautiful was um, to, good today. I loved it. It was really good. And I loved it. It was because because um, it was really good. I, I loved it. The ending, the ending was good, and I loved it. I mean, today, um, Sheila. Sheila continues choking Quinn, and Quinn tells her to go on to do it. Prove to Eric how crazy she is, and choke her out. Sheila still continues, and then finally stops. Quinn coughs and gasps for air, and she tells Sheila that she's insane, and she, that she almost killed her. Sheila tells her that almost didn't count, and Quinn tells Sheila that she, didn't, she knew that she, wasn't fa she was faking it. She says, Eric needs to know how you're manipulating him. So back off, Sheila. You're out of this house tonight. She runs to the room, and Sheila runs after her. I you know she, Quinn was being very hypocritical. She was the last, you know, she's the last person to talk about who's crazy. If anybody who was crazy, it was her. Because she was no, she's no any different than Sheila. Was, that was, that was kind of hypocritical of Quinn. Very hypocritical. Now, next one uh, at the hospital. Steffi and Liam are at Forrester Creations, and Steffi asks Liam what, what's wrong, and Liam tells her that this is, is this is this it's this about Caroline being this lie about Caroline being sick. And Steffi says that Liam said he would keep it a secret. Liam says he will, but Pam rushes in to tell them that the Spectre building burned down and Sally is in the hospital. Steffi and Liam leave to, to go see her. Man, I'm really, I'm really, sh I mean, I'm really shocked for what happened, what the bill did, has done. I mean, what, what, pulling a stunt like this. I mean, he endangered, he and Bill endangered the lives of many people, Sally, her family, and everyone else. It's a shame what he done. I mean, what was he thinking, pulling a stunt like this, him and Justin? And I'm back now. Sally at the hospital. Sally thinks back to the fire while a doctor examines her. The Spectra crew and LJ what and Coco watch. The doctor tells her that she's fortunate. She didn't she didn't get any closer to the fire, any closer to the fire. The doctor says that she has a minor sh smoke smoke in in whole, in whole inhalation and that Sally is lucky. Shirley thinks the doctor Sally says our entire future just went into flames. Sally says everything is gone. Sal says that it's tragic, but Sally is okay. Coco tells her that all that matters that Sal Sally says that she's now all right, and this is the worst thing that could have happened. I mean, everything was gone today. Everything burnt out today on Golden Booth. I mean, all her family, I mean, all of Sally's, her family's um, treasures. I mean, her the pictures, the, 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 the dresses, the, the, um, the, the necklaces, the designs, all the designs were burnt down. It's a shame, because Bill Bill's behind all this. I mean, he he, he needs to go down, because it's a real. It's a shame. He never pays for anything, never. He's, he's just like Victor Newman on the Young and the Restless. Bill. Now, um, Bill in his office, and Justin comes in. Bill asks if it's done. Justin tells him that it's done. Spectra is fashions is out of the game. Bill wants to make sure that Spectra can't do anything, and Justin says that the building is a shell and Spectra is broke. Bill says finally Spectra fashions is no longer a sorry do 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 play obstacle to the progress. My dream is become a reality. The sky is gonna blow. It's gonna go up and up and up. How could he live with himself? How could Bill live with himself? I mean, do do something so disgusting to burn down, especially, I mean, I mean, it's sick, it's just sick. He mean, I mean, he could keep, Bill, this guy, I mean, he will have, he, Bill has just um, fucked his life up completely. And I hope Baker puts, them, puts him in jail, and I hope Justin goes along with him too. He, he just messed his life up completely, I mean, I mean, this man. I hope the police. 
Like, I, hope, I hope everyone's going to get involved with this. I hope he will, get, he will go down for, for good. I mean, he's a piece of crap, this man. He, he, I mean, I'm sick of Bill. I'm sick of this guy. He cares nothing about the money, or, or I mean, he cares about the money, and he, and he only cares about anyone but himself, not and not anybody else. He, he only cares about who he hurts and what he does to to a lot of people. That's the only thing he gives a damn about. Now, if Liam and Steffi go to the hospital, and they both apologize, and Steffi says that they deserve to have a shot. CJ arrives and pan panic and is thankful that everyone is okay. He asks Sally what the doctor said. Sally says that she's fine. And CJ says that she better be fine because besides his mom, she's all that he has. He says that he spoke to the fire marshal and the fire was electrical. Sally brings up the wiring. Now, next, and Bill want, next one, Bill wants to know how soon before they can proceed. Justin wants him to wait, wait out for, for a little while, little, and he tells Bill how now is not the time to bring attention to sport spectra, um, spectra. Bill decides to take Justin's advice for now, and when Justin leaves Bill, leaves, Bill, Bill tells him himself that the, without insurance, CJ won't be begging him to take spectra off his, his hands. Yeah, that's what you care, asshole. Now, Quinn and Sheila run downstairs, and Eric can't believe things have happened again. Quinn says that Sheila tried to kill her, and she wants her out of the house. Eric wants to know what happened, and Quinn says that Sheila has been faking her symptoms so she can stay in this house. And she explains walking in on Sheila, and Sheila walking out like she owned the place not compromised at all. Sheila tries to cover it up when Quinn says that Sheila attacked her and that Eric cannot stay let her stay there and Eric asks Sheila if it's true. Have you been exaggerating the symptoms so you can stay in my house? And Sheila asks, tells Eric that she doesn't want to leave and she doesn't want doesn't trust Quinn's relationship with Will Ridge. She's gonna hurt you again, Eric. Eric tells Sheila that it's none of her business. And Eric tells Sheila that he knows her and and to see her moving around like the like she, she, he agrees with Quinn. It's time for you to go. He tells her that he'll take a call from call call her from call her in a car, and she will leave now to wait outside. Sheila makes a speech to Eric and stares stares at Quinn's, Quinn, Quinn's portrait and then goes outside. Eric tells her goodbye and closes the door. Quinn and Eric. Eric and Quinn hug. Sheila stands outside and says, Oh, it's not over. I'll be back. And it will be my portrait hanging above that fireplace. Yeah, Sheila, she's an evil woman. But Quinn's no better. She's no saint. The next one, uh, Sally blames herself for the fire and then gives Spectre, the Spectre crew a pep talk. Saying that when Thomas hears about this, he will all come back and save them. Yeah, I hope. And collect CJ, and CJ can collect on the insurance and will rebuild. And CJ admits that there is no insurance. He says that he made a mistake, too, and he thought the sale of the building was inevitable. And says he got caught up and the dude who they came, came and went. He says that maybe Spencer can buy what's left of the building and they can make some money. And Liam tells Sally not to let this break her spirits. You come roaring back and get the recognition you deserve. He says he has to go. He has to go and leaves. No, it's not. It's not. You know, I disagree with Sally. It's not her fault. Everybody knows who's responsible for this. Bill, a piece of crap who burned down spectral fashion, spectral fashions. He burned down spectral. On, on spectra, spectra, spectra fashions. He's gonna pay, and I hope Thomas will come back and kick his ass when he finds out he was he was he, about his lie to keep him and Sally apart. And it's all because he wants to get rid of Spectra. And I hope he does. Now Steffi and Sally talk talk, and Steffi says she's sorry about this, and Sally says that there's nothing coming 
back from here, this, not without insurance. Expect your fashions is really dead this time. Steffi thinks and then gets a look on her face. You know, I bet she, you know, I bet she, I bet, I mean, I bet she doesn't even care about, she still hates, I bet you, Steffi, she still hates, um, Sally. She, I mean, I can tell by that look on her face today. She was given to Sally. She still hates Sally. Because she, because she knows she hates, because Sally, Steffi hates Sally as much as Bill hates Sally. You know, Someone's gonna, someone's gonna get, get Steffi. I hope he should get dumped soon. Now Liam, he walks into Bill's office and he asks if Bill heard of the news. News: Spectra Fashions went up in flames. He tells Bill that Sally's in the hospital with smoke for smoke inhal, inhal, inhalation, but she'll be okay. Bill says good, and Liam is surprised he cares. Bill says that just because she, he's not a fan, it doesn't mean he wants to harm to come to the woman. Liam says that's good, actually, because if she suffered some third-degree burns, you have to feel guilty about something. Bill asks where Liam is going with this. Liam says he's been thinking about Bill and his methods. Liam goes on to bring up the lie about Caroline and asks who actually does that kind of stuff because of it, because it's sick, kind of sick. And I agree. But at least it's not criminal. Arson, on the other hand, Bill tells Liam to be careful. And Liam says, you know I love you, right? Bill says he loves him, too. Now, Bill doesn't love Liam. He just loves himself. Liam says, even when I'm appalled with you, I love you. And maybe that's not that's naive, but I tell myself there are limits, but there are things that I don't want to believe. It's getting harder and harder to ignore the burning feeling I'm feeling in the pit of my stomach. Bill says that they need to stop this right now. Liam says the fire expecture wasn't an accident. It was you. You wanted those people out of there, and you sent one of your henchmen to do your dirty work and burn Spectra to the ground. Just a minute. Just say it out loud. It will feel good. Spectra's burnt to ashes because of you. Now, I agree with everything that Liam just said. I agree with everything he just said about that piece of crap, his asshole of a father, um, um, Bill. I agree with him. I agree with you, Liam. It was premeditated arson. Not no fault to faulty wiring. It was intentional. We all know he did it. We all know he hates Sally. He needs to cut the crap and stop patronizing you. Everyone know yeah, everyone knows he it was intentional. Liam knows it was intentional because he all because he knows he hates Spectra Spectra and he hates Sally. He wanted. He wanted. He wanted. Them, he wanted. He he doesn't even care about about the um about the people he just hurt out there. I mean, he he, he wanted them to get hurt. He wanted all those people to get hurt and to get burned in that fire. I mean, he could have killed some. He could have killed somebody. He could have killed Sally. He could have killed her. I mean, her um her step aunt, her aunt, or somebody. And I mean that. Sh I mean Shirley. CJ and who knows? I mean, that's sick, really sick. I mean, he needs he, he Bill needs somebody's need to do something. I mean, it was sick, it was disgusting. I mean, something's got to be done about Bill's bill. Something has got to be done about Bill Spencer. I mean, he never pays. I mean, he's just as like he's just like Victor Newman from The Young and the Restless. He's evil. He's evil as Bill as Bill um as Victor Newman on The Young and the Restless. He's also worse than Hillary on the Young and the Restless. This man needs to pay. He really needs to pay. He always gets away with everything. He never pays. He's a poor. Um, Bill is just a poor, a sad, poor excuse for a human being. And he. And I hope he goes down. I really do. He's a piece of crap. So that's my little review on today's um, Bold and Beautiful. So subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. Make a comment on the video, hit like. Have a good afternoon or evening. Mario, peace.